So power company apparently drove into my field. You can tell it's a lineman truck. Backed right up to this pole. I bet to change a fuse. You can see where they put pads down, put their outriggers in, and uh, they're denying they did this shit. And talking to the neighbors, this happened a few days ago. I found out I had some low voltage on the fence. And this is what happens when somebody drives through high tensile wire. They, uh, they rip your wire either bust right off. I did cut this out, but the insulator's bust. So this all has to be recut, retied. So, you know, right there, there you go. Um, and then re-ratcheted up. I brought some wire for splicing. The bitch of it is I called uh, Detroit Edison, which is the power company, and they wanted to put you through to a claims department, and this lady on the phone had the audacity to ask me, well, how do you know it was us? Did you get a truck number? Yeah, yeah, did I get a truck number? They could have been in here in the middle of the night for as far as I know. The only way, and I, I want them to come out and fix this. I mean, it's a simple fix, but it's a matter of principle. So lady across the road, her son works for DTE, and he called the supervisor who finally called me. I argued with DTE for about 45 minutes, didn't get anywhere. So DTE doesn't, uh, they'll just drive right through your fence and uh, trash it. So, the, you know, and, and I'm lucky I didn't get cows out. They were down here, the weather's warmed back up, and the cows started grazing again. Um, you know, they were down here yesterday in this part of the farm. They're a long ways right now, thankfully. But all this was was one wire as far off the ground laying there like that. And uh, current dropped down to like 3,500 volts. Um, so, yeah. So that's, that's how a power company treats you. Unless you know somebody, you're not going to get anything done. Otherwise, so uh, supposedly they're setting out a service truck. I mean, I could have this fixed, but it's a matter of principle. Those pricks need to fix it themselves. Later here. Oh, yeah, it is broke. They say these insulators are supposed to be stronger than the donuts, uh, that they're actually made for high tensile, but Gallagher actually still sells these for high tensile, but I don't know. Maybe there's no difference in strength. They say these U ones. These usually got to order. Usually a local farm store doesn't have them. Get them on Amazon. I'm just, I just tied this. I'm going to fix it. I ain't got time to monkey with these idiots. So basically I have to cut this, cut that off, put a new piece of wire on like that. I just, I got some small coils of miscellaneous wire like this for stuff like that. So I don't have to pull around the spinning Jenny with a 100, 100 plus pound roll. T-shirt weather out November, what is it? Seventh, November seventh? Better plug your ears when that thing goes off. I don't think I've been standing on this corner when that emergency test goes off once a month. I guess the first Saturday at one o'clock of each month. I'm having a hard time grabbing on that. Huh. Well, that's not a lot of power. But a lot of times you get farther from the charger and you get a lot more voltage. This is the best, I think, fence charger you, you can get, American made. Down uh, to various parts of the farm. And gonna check on fence voltage a long ways from the charger. Okay, so down at that corner that we just repaired, it was 7,400 volts. Get out here and just see, this is the opposite side of the farm. And came over here to throw some hay to these girls today. And kind of noticed the voltage was down a bit. So, go over here and see what we got. Eighty-five hundred. That ain't bad. So that definitely keeps the calves in. Uh, 
yeah it got warm out and they cut hay consumption down and they were all the way over there grazing and stuff okay well they delayed me a couple hours um i guess say i had it all together but he came along and helped me splice it i didn't have my crimping tool and i didn't i so i tried to tie a reef knot I'm not good at splicing high tensile together with a knot i do it but it's real half-assed but look at these crimps he give me this is a type of crimp man i mean instead of these tiny little sleeves they give you for high tensile fence so yeah i'm interested to try these out 